All right, we're back now with the science of fear. Could getting scared be good for you? To find out, our Nick Watt braved a chilling visit with a couple of fear researchers, including the author of a new book called Scream. Why or why do we do this to ourselves? The answer might lurk right here. Let's rewind. Let's get this over with. Nice to see you. Hi. I'm in a makeshift Hi. lab in the basement of the Scare House Halloween attraction with two University of Pittsburgh scientists who think getting scared Hi! might actually be good for us. So I'm a guinea pig in your experiment. Absolutely. Or you will be once you sign this consent form. Yeah. Then a series of pre-scare house stress tests, including holding hands with one of the scientists while listening to ugly noises. <laughs> They've been wiring up a few volunteers like me. I'm going in. No! You don't need no, 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 no! Bloody hell! I jumped so hard I pulled my finger uh, monitor off. I'm not sure it's survived or is going to take many good readings. This place, only open 24 days a year in the run-up to Halloween, has amazing sets, a pool of around 100 actors. <laughs> And Margie Kerr, one of the designers of this terror fest, who just wrote a book aptly named Scream. When we're scared, our thinking brain is taking a break. All of the worry and the concern, it gets pushed to the side because our body wants to prioritize things that are going to help us survive. All right, my post scare house stress analysis. I didn't flinch at all with the noises. Yep. I feel more chilled because I've just been scared half to death. No! This really might be good for us, and that's why we do it. Hi. Happy Halloween. Good morning, America. Nick Watt, ABC News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.